So this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Monthly general tarot reading, uh, February 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested into a uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. So with that being said, we are moving to the uh, to the spread, and this is going to be an eight card tarot spread. And the very first card, which stands as the topic of uh, your month here, we do have the Ace of Wands, followed by the second one, which stands as the energies supporting the topic. So that is going to be the the uh, Knight of Cups. Followed by the third card here, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the month. That is going to be the six of uh, wands. Followed by the next one, which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy for throughout the month. That, we, that will be the gift and the blessing of the moon card. Uh, afterwards, we do have how you're going to stand in the eyes of others. This is um, the impression you, le you leave into the people around you, uh, your beloved ones, your co-workers, um, friends and family, etc., etc. That is to be uh, the Three of Cups. Afterwards, what we do have, it is what is going to help your long-term goal. Uh, what is going to improve your circumstances, that will be the uh, Chariot card. Followed by the seventh card here, it is what is going to hurt your circumstances and what is going to uh, deteriorate uh, your long-term goal here. That will be the Emperor card. And the final one, which is the Guidance from Taro here, we do have the King of Wands, of uh, Swords, excuse me. Uh, long day here. So, Capricorns. Um, well, the month uh, actually is going to be surprisingly good for you guys. I mean, uh, under surprisingly good, I mean that you are going to be surprised how good that month is going to be. So, with these cards, uh, it is because we do have the Knights of Cups as an energies. Uh, it is highly likely that the month is going to start rather very, very slow for you. It is like nothing is moving around and that, uh, you know, things are not changing with the pace you want them to change. And that is going to quickly start changing. Um, what I mean is that the month is going to start speeding up very, very rapidly here. That is because the more you go into the month, the more the energies are going to force you to start listening to your wishes, to start listening to the dreams of your heart. It is because those energies, one way or another, guys, are going to make you put the dreams and the wishes you have in front of yourself and start doing something about it. Because the month itself, as a opening here, is going to give you the option to do something about it. Up until this moment, if you have been stifled to work what you want, to be with the person that you want, or to do what you want, that is going to be no longer. You are going to have the, the window opened for you to jump for it and do what you want, okay? And that's why it is quite important to follow the needs of your emotional state. I don't know how to say it here. It is like, you know, you wanted to do things or you wanted to be with someone and up until now you didn't have the chance to do it for one or another reason. Say, you know, you are, you want to work as a uh, engineer, but uh, you had a different responsibilities to another company that uh, you aren't working as an engineer. And now those responsibilities are finally over and you can finally, finally follow, you know, the dreams of your heart. So this is what the month is going to be all about. And like I said, the very start of it is going to be a bit slow. That is because um, a certain prerequisites in certain circumstances will depend on you how well you you perform in them in them but ultimately at the end of the day um, the weight of your own heart here is going to prevail and it's going to be like at some at some point is going to be like you are going to say to yourself wait a minute am I really happy where I am right now? And in generally, what can I do to make myself happy? Screw the rest, okay? I will never be able to make 
everybody around happy. So now I have to start thinking of how I can make myself happy. And this is what you're going to start doing. And once you recognize that, then uh, your life will become so much more colorful here with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is this. Um, I want to explain you the card a little bit. Uh, we do have a, a, a hand giving you the wand, which is a, a symbol of power and growth from a uh, from a, a cloud and the hand is making thumbs up so that is uh, that is taken as a, a green light for you to go forward what with well the energies are pointing with the dreams of your heart okay so that's why the month itself is going to be surprisingly good for you because I suspect that up until now you almost gave up on certain dreams. Well, guess what? That the these hopes, you know, just only hopes, but the manifestation of those hopes is going to be revitalized. Now, it's very early to talk about success in those dreams because the ace is just the beginning of it. Okay, so you do have only the the, the green light for it. How they are going to unfold from there? Well, that is a subject of different readings. It may take more than just one month and, and so on and so forth. But the point with the Ace of Wanted is that you are on the right track. The point with the Ace of Wanted is that now you get to experience gaining full things. You get to experience a... Um, uh, a, a life in a very new colors, in a, from a very from a very different standpoint, looked from a, a very different prism, if you will, and for many which have lost the taste of it, I mean the taste of life, that taste is going to be regained. So if you are miserable, what I'm trying to say here is that if you are feeling miserable, if you are feeling that. You have already did as, uh, what you could in this life. Well, just wait the month of February to hit you. It's You are going to find out that you do have so much more to give and so much more to take out of it from life, that is. Uh, next one is going to be the challenges here. And we do have the six of wands. And that is the challenge of fear. That is the challenge of what happens when I go for it. Okay, so you alone are going to know that things are going to happen. You alone are going to know that if you set sail toward the sunset with a specific person, that person is not going to reject you. You will know that if you apply for a certain job at a certain stage at the month, you are not going to be rejected. But what are going to be the circumstances of it or consequences, excuse me, of it? This is what you are going to be afraid of. And that is going to be the challenge for you to just shake yourself of the consequences of it. Once again, you know, everything we do is with a consequences. It comes with consequences. All right. But is this a sensible reason enough not to do anything? OK, so at the end of the day here, you will have to think of your own success, your own growth, your own recognition, your own rewards. And that will be the challenge to start thinking for yourself above everything and everybody else, at least for the month of February. Additional challenge for you uh, is, to, is going to be the self-confidence also. You may think that you are not good enough. You may think that uh, you are not going to be able to make it and all these kind of stuff. Because as we said, that are going to be just early stages, you know, of manifestation of your dream, of manifestation of the, of the yearnings of your heart. And it's quite understandable. But if you don't try it, you are, not, you are never going to know it. And the... Uh, the thing is that you're going to have that opportunity once, maybe twice further into the future. But are you willing to wait, let's say, a couple more years so you can have the same opportunity? I bet you don't. So just, you know, kind of like, just do it. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that. Just do something to make yourself happy because the month is going to give you what you need in order to do so. Um, now the next one, it is about the, um, 
gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy Capricorn throughout the month and that will be the moon card and it's kind of very difficult to be explained the moon card as the gift and blessing in this narrative it's more like a uh, being unaffected by the unpredictable future it's like whatever happens is gonna be for your good for your own good all right so uh, it's like you are protected from the uh, from things going wrong here so you are gonna feel very secure you're gonna feel very stable as well and you are gonna feel like whatever you do moving toward the dreams of your heart it is doomed to succeed it's just it's it's doomed to happen that is the gift and the blessing additionally to that with the moon card you are going to be gifted with extraordinary intuition and yes intuition not inner guidance not inner voice as the high priestess gives you the intuition so it's like tapping into the sources of uh, of psychic abilities that is the intuition while with high priestess that is something far different okay so you are gonna have those hunches and those uh kind of like a uh, how can i say it a, a, a visions if you were not even visions but let's say uh thoughts are gonna come to you it's generally intuition you can't describe it and you have to follow that intuition that is your gift throughout the months and whatever that intuition forces you to do it is because they, it's not telling you it's just forcing you to do or it's pointing you to do it will be advisable for you to do it now the next one it is how people are going to see you uh, we have the three of cups uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people uh, to be honest people are going to be a bit jealous of you it is because simply they're going to start seeing you more che uh, more cheering it is kind of like more uh, emotionally fulfilled people are going to see you more happier than before people are going to see you um, someone with a, a wide vision okay it's like a a person who uh, pretty much drinks from the world with uh, f from the world with a full fistfuls and also people are going to see you as a, someone who simply makes progress and that itself is going to provoke a bit of a uh, kind of like uh, envious emotions into uh, your friends into your co-workers as well but also people are going to see you as a, a compatible person okay so that being said uh, throughout this month you can expect people to approach you in general and to seek cooperation with you either for a, a casual enterprise either for a project it doesn't point for a relationships right but it's not excluded it is because uh, your vision becomes so wide that it kind of like other visions give or take ideas are falling into the framework of your vision as well and so why should you not cooperate together and have an easy easier time performing in a cooperation than slogging on your own moving forward into the future so you can expect that you are going to have a lot of teamworks with your colleagues a lot of uh, like i said you know casual enterprises in your social circle as well if you are a, a family person like a um, uh, having a, a a marriage here you can expect as well a lots of a um, uh, cumulative activities with your wife or a husband as well with your children etc etc and all that is going to consolidate your emotional state as well so you're going to start feeling yourself more loved you're going to start feeling yourself more happy uh, and more praised as well in the sense of that people uh, are really counting on you and not just only that but you can count on people as well etc etc so it's kind of like you're going to feel yourself as a part of something as a part of society as a part of relationship as a part of partnership you're going to feel yourself uh, significant it is because people are gonna see you uh, significant next one it is what you can do in order to further your goal or kind of like help your long-term goal or in other words what is going to improve your personal circumstances and that will be the chariot card 
so pretty straightforward here um like i said um it's kind of tightly related to the challenges here what we said about the challenges it is the fear that you may have that you are not either worthy or incapable to go for the dreams of your heart and the chariot here points that um, what is going to help that to happen is by you arming yourself with your iron will meaning stubbornness it is like I want it, it is because it's my dream here, uh, your determination and just charge forward. Now, once you do that, you are going to see immediately the luck of your hard work and that your wishes are start fulfilling themselves. So all that you have to do is follow your wishes and they will start fulfilling themselves. And that, that following that you are going to do, it needs to be supported with a very very strong determinations additionally to that the chariot points recognition as well a recognition so that being said you will have to demand for the um for the appropriate recognition here for the um uh, attention that you do deserve for the position that you do that you do deserve for a raise that you do deserve for the love that you do deserve as well. You have to demand for it. And finally, the chariot here points that you should not be afraid and not afraid, intimidated by what is in front of you. Because we do have the gift and blessings of the uh, uh, emotional peace and calmness here. So you are going to feel yourself in extremely stable, solid and like unaffected by the unpredictability of the future. And therefore, it's highly unlikely that even if you do something wrong or something not wrong, we, we don't have a doing something wrong into that situation, say something stupid that is going to impact you negatively. So throughout this um, this month you get to play bold and that is what is asked from you just play bold do actions that under normal circumstances you wouldn't dare doing next one it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal and what is going to deteriorate your circumstances that is the emperor card and the emperor here points uh, to a trying to control everything if you will it is like uh maintaining your current position and i don't know how to describe it really it is like trying to fit the dream of your heart with the current circumstances now that itself cannot happen by that card coming around so at the end of the day we're we're kind of reaching a point where you have to leave something behind so you can chase the goal there the goal of your heart and uh, or the dream the wishes that you do have and that sacrifice is gonna worth it and with the emperor what is going to deteriorate your circumstances is trying to establish control over everything trying to uh, set the, it's not even rules but more like a uh, Mm, how can I say it? Making everything, making everything that it is around you a part of a machine that it is sticking, so you can face the ups and downs of the daily routine uh, with much more ease and make them uh, much more bearable. While you can do so, that will deprive you from a options to go for the dreams of your heart. So you have a choice to make here, Capricorn. Either you are gonna stay exactly as you are or you are gonna do something bold and have a dream of your heart fulfilled. That is entirely up to you. Now, these cards here are highly encouraging you to go for the latter, okay, or for the latter. Um, instead of kind of like stumbling into the same place um, all over again. And the final card for you guys is going to be the guidance that Tsaru is offering. So we do have the King of Swords here. And that card only tells us a uh, one thing. Just uh, let me, give me a second to regain control over my camera. 
it's not gonna be easy, all right? Uh, we saw that into the challenges, we saw that as well into the improvement of the circumstances that it will be tough, okay? It will be intimidating to go for the dream of your heart and you are to face a lot of uh, predicaments, a lot of puzzles that needs to be solved, okay? You're gonna face a lot of problems that needs resolution and the guidance here points that the resolution and the salvation of uh, your problems, plights and predicaments is going to manifest itself or rather like it's going to happen through a careful analysis, analysis over the arguments you can work with. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel, just think very carefully and meticulously over what you can work with and that itself is going to give you the salvation you require. So that being said, Capricorn, uh, this was your a monthly tarot reading, February 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye!